Nation. Y'all know what it is, man. Same place, different time. <laughs> Past Nation. Let go. Oh well, what's happening? Y'all with me today? So, today, I am making my, um, I'm making my, um, crab and spinach artichoke dip. Oh, damn, I should've got more artichokes. So today I'm making my crab and spinach artichoke dip. Uh, crab and shrimp spinach artichoke dip. Oh. Now that light fell. Don't mind me. I'll fix it later. Have a little leftover crab. So I bought some more. Y'all excuse me. So I bought some more crab meat. Got a mix. Usually I buy the lump crab. But this is just a, a quick little mix. Cause I didn't wanna be around here bullshitting. I'm gonna show y'all my first, basically just my prep real quick. Uh, for the most part, get everything in here and just get it ready. prompted me to start making this spinach and artichoke dip is because I'm a, a fan of uh of the spinach the spinach and artichoke dip at Houston. So I always wanted to know how to make that spinach and artichoke dip. You know what I'm saying? So I used to always hit Houston's up shit sometimes just to get the spinach and artichoke dip. You know what I'm saying? So uh I was like, man, I gotta learn how to make that shit at home. I know it can't be that hard, you feel me? So, I uh, figured out a quick little recipe. And, uh, and I started to get her done. So now, I make a spinach and artichoke dip, and I make it with crab, shrimp, both, either or. Um, that's good enough for the crab. Put my cream cheese, just any kind of cream cheese, heavy cream, heavy cream cheese. Oh, um, just get your cream cheese and go ahead and put it in here so I can get get it ready. Depending on how many you're cooking for. You know what I mean? You adjust your levels for that. But get the cream cheese in here. Butter up the skillet real good. Get that cream 
I use a lot of cheese in this dish, of course. Perfect. We'll call this a dip. Um, I got my onions already right here for the pre-cut my onions. Um, crab doesn't take that long to cook. It is one of the things that don't take that much time. And you don't want it cooked from, like really all the way. You don't really want to cook too much all the way because of the um, the crab. So, and this one once again, I'm doing crab and shrimp. So you can do small shrimp, or you can do those little bitty salad shrimp. The reason why I don't use bigger shrimp is because it's a dip. You see what I'm saying? So why would you use big shrimp in a dip? when you're using chips and tortillas and shit like that. Um, you can go to the extra yard and make your own fresh tortillas, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> um, I try to do everything. Um, my meals usually don't take that long, so I try to do everything where it's, where it's convenient because a lot of times I cook on the go. Not really on the go, but I cook when I'm coming home from work. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead and put my onions in here. Put my crab. Then I, then I ain't ate nothing all day, so I got this old leftover ass American Deli. I tore the wings up, but I had, you know, I'm greedy, so I had the 10 wings with the, uh, the 10 wings with the, uh, the Philly. And I just took my Philly out of the oven since I need to preheat the oven anyway. I just buy the chopped frozen spinach. It's quicker. It's quicker to get it ready. Just so, uh, so I can make sure I got enough spinach. Make sure I use enough spinach. Drop your garlic off in there.
cream cheese. Just break it up now so it'll, so it'll be easier to get it to break down. This on low, a little mixture with the crab and the onion. I got the garlic and the uh, already in the spinach, so we ain't really worry about that. Give me one second, I'm gonna show y'all what all I got going on. Give me one second. Luckily, I had the spinach sitting out. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. I actually just went to the store and got it. So, oh, so it would be unthawed. And what I do is um, just saute the spinach with butter. Just put enough butter in here to get it where it don't stick. You want the spinach, you know what I mean, to cook down just a little bit before you get everything prepped. Like I said, I use the salad size shrimp because they're so small and they go perfect with dip. So you see, a little salad size shrimp. Really small, the little bitty baby, a little bite sized shrimp. Throw them in there with the crab. Like I say, you really want them so they, so they be just the right size so that you can scoop them on your chips. You don't want to not be able to put them on your chips. I try to make this anytime I got, like I said, I got like a game situation going on. Let me just let it cook. It's on low, so it's not really like a, like a real high amount of heat. Cause I'm trying to let everything kind of cook at the same time. So I'm not doing a, a whole lot with it, but it needs to be Everything else is pretty much just getting it, just letting it do what it do. Reasonably seasoned, you know what I'm saying? 
So that way you don't have to add nothing to it when it's done. So right now, like I said, this is pretty much the prep process of it. And the garlic is, uh, you know, mixing in well with, with the spinach. Sort of like a garlic spinach, not overcooking it, but just cooking it just enough. So everything gets good and defrosted and unthawed and everything. And, uh, Green cheese. Good and melt it up. cheese just melted and melted. Get it where I can put it in here and work with it with my hand. See on mine I put a little love in it on this one. You feel me? I like to put my hands in it. So let's say you want your cream cheese nice and nice and melted, man. And then with this, I use two different types of cheese. Well, three different types. Of course, I'm using cream cheese, but I'm also using uh, I'm also using a blend, a cheddar, a triple cheddar blend, and an Italian with the mozzarella mixed in. Fascination. Yeah, check me out. We're ready to go now. Might even do a Super Bowl party over here, man. Like some invite only shit, so I'm waiting to get the particulars of it. See what this weekend, how this weekend go about. <laughs> well, when the packs get in, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna uh, We're gonna probably definitely do a Super Bowl party over here, man. Invite only. 30, 40 people, max. Real cool, chill shit. Y'all stay tuned. When I sign that, and I might even make this dip. So, like I said, I'm gonna let y'all see what I got going on right now, now that everything is pretty much over with. Turn the cream cheese on. This is nice. Ready to go. Yep, all right. Everything is ready to go. So I'll show y'all everything I got going on because I said I don't want this sticking to the pot. And once you mix everything in, this is a really, really good dish actually like a nice little meal for real for real with the crab and the shrimp in it. Alright so this is what I got going on. Let y'all check me out. Crab and the shrimp mixed up really good onions the spinach garlic seasoned up peppers and your cream cheese. Nice and melted. Exactly how you need it. So you can mix it in. All right, so. Let's see. All right, so now that we got that done, that's pretty much the hard part. Uh, that's pretty much the hard part, pretty much. That's the hard part. Now I'm gonna show y'all the easy part. All right, so I'm gonna put all this up, get everything out the way. Cold 
old ass sandwich. I usually do the out um uh, I usually use the artichokes in the um, in the glass jar. But today I had these left. So I'm just gonna use these. Ain't that big of a deal. At the end of the day, it's going to be more of a preference thing when it comes to uh, when it comes down to it. Now, we are using a, a dip. We're going to put the spinach in first. Now, now we come back with the artichokes. Go ahead and break them up. Get them all the way broke up. I try to break it up so I can make sure it's kind of evenly distributed through it throughout. Put nothing in a hole. Just get it evenly distributed. I like to, like I'm like one of them folks like when you when you bite into some shit, I like for it to for you to taste like 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 you can't go without scooping something in in every time you scoop in. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, man, y'all check me out though. You know what I mean? Support the team.
um, from the Bricks to the Birds, YouTube, IG. You can see these videos on IG. Um, I'm actually going to start exclusively, but not on IG. I'm going to start exclusively putting these videos of when I'm cooking stuff on um, on YouTube, so you can exclusively catch uh, these and many more different recipes and ideas and freestyles that I do in the kitchen. Crab stuff, trick, crab stuff, chicken breast. Um, I'm all over the place with it. So the oxtails. Of course, I'm gonna to have to edit that video when I do those. The curry goat, jerk, I mean, fried ribs. Some folks haven't had fried ribs before. I do my fried ribs, I put them on there. Um, I mean, it just, you know, I'm on it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It ain't gonna hurt you. That way when y'all see me on HGTV somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I know that dude. That was old boy. Yeah. So, check me out though. That's about it, man. That's enough goddamn artichoke. All right. Let's And yeah, I wash my hands. As you can see, I keep my hands washed. I don't just be grabbing on shit. Um, get the cheese out of here. Last but not least, not even last but not least, Italian blend with your mozzarella. And your nacho blend. So you get your different type of cheddar. And you can use all of one, all of the other. It's really up to you. Um, I mix them. you get your mix in and you can kind of see how much more you got left then you got the shrimp crab onion garlic you got that mix left so you go ahead and add that in Saute my shrimp and my crab together. Butter, season it up real good. Add 
everything else. Now here come the fun part. Get your hands dirty. Stove already ready. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Stove already ready. Everything already preheated. And uh, I'm gonna start off just kind of getting everything kind of just mixed in. Make sure it ain't too hot to stick my hands in. So, but remember everything is fresh off the stove, so it's all, you know, pretty much warm. So, so I get the mix and just generally do a, a nice little mix on it. Cause I got the spinach on the bottom and all the toppings are on the top. So just work my way around to bring the spinach back up top. You could do this in a bowl, then add it to a pan, but why? You see what I'm saying? Don't make sense to me anyway, but you can if that's what you choose to do. Some people would mix it like this and that would be good enough. I say no. So, now that I checked it out and everything is pretty much how I want it, I just kind of mix it in. So just make sure everything is good and together. I want the cream cheese and everything to kind of mix up. Kind of like when I did my salmon burgers, how I was just bringing them in. You don't really mash it. You just, you just put your good mix on it. Like I said, you want everything to be mixed in and you want it to be lovely. You don't want too much spinach left at the bottom. You don't want too many artichokes left here or there. So I still had a lot of spinach pockets left in there. So that's pretty much it. Can't be afraid to get your hands dirty when you're in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? So, a little bit here and there. Let me put that back over there. All right. Now, so it don't overstuff, I'm gonna top it with cheese. So I'm just gonna give it a nice little flat top on it. I'm gonna let y'all see what it looked like before I put it together. So you can see that everything in here is pretty much, you ain't gonna be able to scoop a, a, a cone, a quarter of a, not even a quarter of a millimeter up out of here without getting shrimp or crab or artichoke, something in there. You always want it cause of shrimp and crab. So you wanna make sure every bite is covered with it. See, look at all that crab meat, like in one little section. So, it's pretty much all I'm doing. Just make sure I got it nice and, and wash it nice. All right, there you go.
and the rest is history. All right. There you go. Nice and mixed up. Every millimeter, centimeter is crab, shrimp, artichoke, spinach, cheese. So, so you know, I ain't playing with you now. Then you put the equalizer on it. Because you see I didn't use all the, you see I didn't even spill that much on the side, see? It's real neat. It looked like I was making a mess and I really did. The equalizer though, hit on the equalizer. Here come the equalizer. The equalizer, you already know. Top that guy off. situations like that. Much All right. So, like I said, check me out, man, from the Bricks to the Burbs, YouTube, IG. I don't just cook. I do home improvement, DIY projects. I paint. I build shit. I do landscaping. I do canvases, abstract art. I do... Um, Oh, flooring, I do bathrooms, I do tile, I do light fan, light fixtures, I do ceiling fans, I do sinks, I do whatever. Um, check me out. From the bricks to the birds, YouTube. Coming soon, my nephew closes on his house next Wednesday. So, I have a housewarming gift to him. Of course, I do interior decorating and design. You, y'all, check my shit out. My shit fly to the newborn baby. When you slap him on the ass to make him scream for the first time, welcome to the world. So, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put my hands on their house as a housewarming gift. I'm gonna paint and uh, you know design some things for them. See what they, see exactly what they, what they, what kind of ideas they got. I know. My great niece, yeah, and I did say my great niece. Her room is going to be blue. So, uh, I'm gonna go in there and do her room in blue and probably do a little custom design on the wall and stuff for her. Just get it all the way together and do their, their bedroom and, and you know, go hang the TVs and all that stuff, you know. It's my nephew, man, I'm proud of my nephew. It's his first house. I know how I was back in 2001 when I first built my first house. I was shit. I had everything delivered. I went to went to what roads and bought all this expensive ass furniture and shit. Man, I had everything delivered the same day. The day I closed, the day I moved in, it all got delivered right then. I was there all day. Cable man, everybody was there. Everything was scheduled the same day. So. But for now, it's Sunday. 
Do y'all know what it is? And y'all know what it is? <laughs> yeah. Crab, spinach, and artichoke dip. Crab, spinach, and artichoke dip. From the Bricks to the Burbs YouTube, check me out. Y'all be safe. Happy Sunday, fun day, and God bless. I'm out here. Past Nation. I'll post the finished video or the finished picture when I'm done. Y'all be safe. God bless.